okay, the 28 days habit fitness challenge. So it takes 28 days to break or form a habit. We're gonna use this 28 days to reverse the cycle because obviously we all have bad habits, smoking, even being on your phone is a bad habit all the time. There's loads of different habits that we all do. You don't realize you're doing a habit because of the word habit. It's a habit, it's habitual. You do it without thinking. You may, I don't know, constantly chew chewing gums. So 20 times a day, pop that open, eat a chewing gum, put it down. Another 10 minutes later, you do it. You don't realize you're doing it because it becomes a habit. And that's what you need to make the fitness a habit. You need to turn what, because not everyone likes fitness. For me personally, I hate cardio. Cardio, rather hang myself than do cardio. I do not like cardio one bit. Weights wise, I love lifting weights. I don't know what it is about lifting weights. I love that feeling of you work out till you're done. Like, do you know what I mean? Like you're working out and it's not that, oh, I don't want to do another rep. It's I physically can't do another rep. I love that feeling of, you know, you've got a good workout. So we're going to turn this 28 days into a challenge now. Now, obviously I don't have that many followers at the moment, almost hit a hundred though. So I don't know how many people are going to jump on this wave, but if you're watching this video months after I've posted it, cause I should post it today still get involved do the 28 days habit challenge or the 20 i don't know what i'm going to call it yet but you'll see the hashtag in the thing 28 day fitness habit challenge whatever you want to call it so for 28 days you are going to do something fitness related every single day for 28 days until it ingrains in your memory when you wake up on that 29th day and you think fuck i might go for a run oh why do why am i thinking i should go for a run because it's now a habit that's what you need to you need to rewire your brain because people see junk food good exercise bad but if you use the exercise, good. You can eat more junk food. I'm not saying that it's gonna cancel it out because you do have to eat healthy to look good. But whereas right now you're eating the junk food, not exercising, and you look how you do, and you wanna improve how you do, then if you put the fitness in and half the junk food, still have some junk food. Obviously you have to have your treat days. I'm not saying that, because if you don't have treat days, you're not gonna you're not gonna go anywhere because all you're gonna be doing is basically be torturing yourself. You're gonna be like, okay, I can't eat crisps ever again. Ah, and then you're gonna slip up. You're gonna eat loads of crisps. You're gonna feel shit about yourself. And then you're, you're gonna stop the fitness and you're gonna eat more junk food. And you're gonna go back to where you were. So treats, yes, allowed. Please have a treat. But just remember, a treat isn't like four. I know at the moment McDonald's is closed, but four Big Macs isn't a treat. Maybe a cheeseburger. That's a treat. One. No chips. No drink. Just a treat for yourself to say well done. <laughs> So do it, 28 days, one thing every day. I am starting today and for 28 days, I'm going to post with the hashtag what day I'm done and what I've done. So you do the same. So day one, you may go for a run. Day two, you may do a hit workout. Day three, may do some resistance exercises with bands. Day four, you know what I'm on about. Every day I'm going to do something different. And I'm gonna post what I'm doing that day and for the challenge, day one, this, day two, this, and yeah. 28 days, rewire your brain, get yourself back into the fitness side of things and you'll be loving life again.